Welcome back everyone. Harry P from the Driftless Home Set here. Hey, um, I don't know if you noticed it in some of the other videos, but I have a Ford MR150, which the MR is the medium roof, the 150 is it's a, uh, I believe it's a half ton. Anyway, um, I've seen a lot of really great van builds, uh, you know, with heat and extra air conditioning and sinks and water holding capabilities and beds and tables and, and whatnot. Um, I am going to do a van build here um, and I'm going to show it to you. We're going to go through it together, but it's going to be more of a utilitarian thing because I use the van for work. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put plywood floor in, the insulated, the walls, plywood insulated and the ceiling plywood and insulating insulated uh, years ago I bought a van from work and um, it was a very short half ton Chevy and um, it was insulated with all the plywood and I absolutely loved it um, it gave me the the rough and tumble space to throw things in there and store things and haul things yet it was insulated so we used it as a camper hunting camper uh, being a couple of hunt, hunting buddies. So that's how I would like this to work out. I w don't want to go too in depth with uh, changing a lot of wiring. I mean, it's got some LED lights that just bright the, the light this up like you wouldn't believe. And then, um, you know, so it's just getting the insulation in and then the plywood so that it's rough and tumble and uh, we'll use it for hunting and I'll use it for work. I haul around a lot of stuff for work and then um, from there we'll use it for, uh, you know, if we're going to go camping or fishing, you know, I'd really like to take it on a remote, semi-remote fishing trip, you know, something maybe, I'd like to take it on a, on a fishing trip um, where I can camp and sleep in here and camp out of it and then yet be able, still be able to launch my boat and go fishing. So. And then of course, you know, be able to bring you along and uh, show you those things too. You know, when you look at self-sustainability, it's not only what you can grow in your garden or, or grow to make money, it's also, you know, what can you forage and hunt for? And, and you're gonna see a lot of that with me. I like to hunt, I like to fish, and uh, I should say I love to hunt and love to fish. Um, and then we do it in different places. You know, I recently made a trip to North Dakota to go walleye fishing. Um, didn't work out too well. You know, we, uh, I used to live there and um, the campground we go out of there is in the middle of the lake. So usually it's like the best fishing on the whole lake. But for some reason this year, the walleyes moved all the way down to the Garrison Dam. Um, so the action was extremely slow on uh, our end of the lake or right in the middle there. Uh, but I'm going back on uh, Labor Day and hopefully I'll be able to shoot some better footage for you guys of some catching some fish if the fish come back up the lake. And then um, <laughs> there again, you know, we rented a charter boat the other day and I do have some footage there. I lost my cameraman so he wasn't there. Um, we came, uh, we went out of Kenosha Harbor, you know, on the other side of the state. and. Uh, the guy took us out fishing and we really had a bad day. That was like probably my first day I had a bad day out there since I was knee high to a grapevine. Um, but it is what it is, you know, it's, it's fishing, it's not catching and um, you know, bad day fishing is better than a good day at work they say, you know. So um, hopefully, uh, I, I do have a boat that I can take out there. I can't take out there and bust any white caps out. Um, but you know I can go coho fishing so I think uh, when June rolls around you're gonna see some footage of us going out coho fishing and when uh, when they're in close and try to pick up some you know some decent sized ones you know I don't have to get wall hangers I'm after putting meat in the freezer so uh, that's what that's about and then um, we'll we'll be able to sleep in the van and do that so um, hang around, I'll show you my van build. I'm gonna put half inch plywood on the floor. 
I'm gonna support it with some two by twos so I can insulate in the middle and then in between the two by twos and then that'll give me my insulated floor um, on the plywood level. Then I bought some uh, exercise mats, which are foam. I'll lay those on top of the plywood for when I'm not hauling any heavy rough and tumble stuff. And then there's a carpet here too. And we'll roll that out. So that'll be an extra layer of insulation uh, to help out with the cold or you know, right now the heat and there's plenty of heat. Um, and then, you know, later on, you know, I'll do something temporary as far as, uh, you know, heat and, and uh, cooling. You know, I could always run the van, you know, because it's got a system. But once, once it's insulated, uh, the van system will be able to keep up. I had a smaller transit van, and um, I will tell you this, and it was cargo all the way. I didn't do anything to it. It did have come with the factory uh, rubber floor, and it was insulated. And um, in the winter time, it was cold in there because you know all the the heat just went out through the through the steel and then in the summertime it was it was hot and there was hard the air conditioner had a hard time keeping up so i expect the same thing with this fan that's why it's crucial that i insulate it um, and put the plywood in just to, to give it that uh, that extra durability so uh, hang around Watch me start this project and then we'll go from there and we'll show you all the way through it and hopefully you know you'll be able to see me using it uh, whether I'm fishing or hunting or just going down the road loading it up with shiitake logs you know all kinds of things so.